After a stroke, because of the damage to the brain, the brain has difficulty communicating to your muscles. So what happens specifically with spasticity is that there is an overactivity or an overfiring um, to a particular muscle. And because of that, that kind of usage, um, the muscles increase in what they call tone and then they can also become quite stiff and they call that spasticity. My toes always tidying up um, because spasticity and tightening. One piece of advice that we always give stroke survivors is to stay as active as you possibly can. For many reasons, keeping your muscles moving, keeping yourself moving, standing as much as possible rather than sitting, sitting rather than lying, is all really good for your health. As a stroke survivor, um, seeking treatment for spasticity um, should occur if you've noticed a change in the way you're functioning day to day. We have pharmacological solutions, these are drugs that will treat spasticity and the main drug that you would receive in Australia at the moment is botulinum toxin. I think th four times I receive the um, drugs and the, the drugs definitely helps. Stroke survivors who receive medication management often participate in therapy with a physiotherapist or occupational therapist. So if you are able to treat the spasticity and then do a dose of therapy, so really think carefully about, about setting aside some time to do exercises, then the increases in movement that you can achieve in your upper limb and your lower limb uh, can be quite large. And sometimes um, not much change initially, um, but don't give up. And there's lots of treatments for it, um, and uh, which can, you know, uh, your health professional can talk to you about, or you can also look on Enable Me, has information about spasticity. There's a really good podcast about it. Um, and, um, and you can do a lot yourself to help with alleviating spasticity.